Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, Doobie Duke Sims here. Today we're going to do a reaction video to Giuliani called the newly sworn in GOP senator for help with slowing Biden's election certification but accidentally left a rambling voicemail on the wrong politician's phone. Okay, Rudy. President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, speaks up during an appearance. Oh, Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani left a rambling message for Alabama Sen Senator Tommy Tuberville in which he asked that Tuberville, Tuberville help slow down the joint session on Congress to accept, accept electoral Congress votes. So let's jump to this video. Senator Tuberville, or I should say Coach Tuberville, this is Rudy Giuliani, President's lawyer. I'm calling you because I want to discuss with you how they're trying to rush this hearing and how we need you, our Republican friends, to try to just slow it down so we can, we can get these legislatures to get more information to you. And uh, I know they're re they're re uh, convening at eight tonight, so, but it, 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 the only strategy we can follow is to object to numerous states and raise issues so that we get ourselves into tomorrow, ideally until the end of tomorrow. I know McConnell is doing everything he can to rush it, which is kind of a kick in the head because it's one thing to oppose us. It's another thing not to give us a fair opportunity to contest it. He wants to try to get it down to three, only three states that we contest, whether well, there are 10 states that we contest not three. So if, if you could object to every state and along with the congressman get a hearing for every state, I know we would delay you a lot, but it would give us the opportunity to get the legislators who are very, very close to pulling their votes, particularly after what McConnell did today. And it angered them because they have written letters asking that you guys adjourn and send them back the questionable ones, and they'll fix them up. So if I'm, if this phone number, I'm available on all night, and it would be an honor to talk to you. Thank you. It would be an honor to talk to you. Like, the, the schmoozness of it is, is just amazing. Like, and then the other amazing effects, like, how do you call the wrong person? Like, don't you have a secretary? Like, isn't there some way of you not fucking up? You're farting, and you're fucking dripping go down your fucking face and it's just like bro like how are you failing at so many aspects and yet you were the t supposed to be the lawyer for the president like that says a lot you know what i mean that there's just like it's just like it's just like um it's like you have a, you have a business right and like your business is supposed to be really rad but it's just like your products suck and it's like they, they get it's like they ship out late they get to you late they're already broken the box looks like shit you know the, the, like the food is spoiled and you're just like i don't really think this is a good business i don't think i will order from this food again place again you know what i mean so it's like i'm looking at julian and like i think this might be your last job bro i think this is going to be it like and if you need money after this it's like write a book i mean there's money for you out there but it's just like i don't know if anybody i would never hire you i would never hire you to be a lawyer because it's just fucking up all the time do you know what i'm saying um and it also shows the inside politics of it all where it's just trying trying to move these pieces around you got the house of cards just like the show moving these pieces around doing the dirt do 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 hello and i would it would be an honor to talk to you it's like you would shit on this dude if he was on the other side you know what i'm saying and it's like it's just crazy it's just like i mean and it's like i just don't even know what what else to say it's like you know, I'm, I'm just waiting for time, really. On this whole shit, it's like, I, I'm, we're going to need another 20 years. Do you know what I mean? Like, we needed, we needed like, 20, 30 years to look back on the on the, the, the war on drugs and go like, what? That was crazy. Do you know what I mean? Same thing with the Nazis. When you, when they got like, um, Finding Hitler and all these shows and shit. Those shows didn't exist back in the days, obviously. But now when you look at those shows, you go like, our own fucking government took in all the Nazis, Project Paperclip, Operation Paperclip, like Google that. Like our own government took in the dudes that they were supposed to be going to kill. They took them in and gave them jobs. You know what I mean? So it's like, you need the space. Like I need the space to really look at this like 30 years from now and go like, 
stop the steal. Like, what was that about? You know what I mean? The war on drugs. What was that about? P Operation Paperclip. What was that about? You know what I mean? Like, 9-11. What was that about? So I really got to just look. I don't have the answers. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm just, I'm just inquisitive by nature to just kind of step back and just go like, what's going on? Do you know what I mean? But Giuliani... I think it's. I think it might be a rap, bro. The Borat and the leaky forehead and the farting and fucking wiping the boogers on your face, coughing and wiping the boogers, and this phone call. It's just like, bro, it's a rap. You know, we do not need grandpa running around. Fucking, it's a rap, bro. This is this is the time for you in life where you sit back on an island with all the money you have, buy yourself a nice, beautiful girl that's gonna run out the next twenty years with you. You know what I mean? There's some great shows on Hulu and Netflix, and it's time for you to just chill the fuck out and order fucking DoorDash every day and just max out, bro. It's max out time for you because I think your job's coming to an end. So let me know how you guys felt about this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.